Ganesha and superhuman powers. Ganesha simply means one who is uh, the lord of uh, angels. Ganas, Ganas are angels. The angels have superhuman powers because they are not humans. And he is the lord of the angels. And why he is the lord of the angels because he knows the secret of all siddhi powers siddhi powers are super normal superhuman powers it's not just mythology when we talk about superhuman powers it is literally at least within the context of the indian gods and goddesses i know personally and, and also supported by scriptures they are so but then one has to know the methodology of it what is a superhuman power superhuman power is that you cannot do something on your own because of human limitations but whereas if you use an angel then the angel can do a better job <coughs> even in in Jesus Christ's case when he was arrested he mentions to Peter look if my father had really wanted to help me he would have sent an angel to fight the romans but he did not send it so angels can do things that we cannot do but there is a science behind this what supernormal powers are associated with ganesha all kinds of powers but primarily the power to know ahead of time the problems and then uh, avoid that problem so avoid the danger that has not yet come and how to know we cannot know with human reasoning or logic so you need to process what ganesha processes like the infra sound intelligence that's why he has an elephant face the elephants have the ability to process infra sound the humans can do that they will go crazy <clears throat> they cannot hear first of all but the brain does process uh, can process the infra sound but then it will create problems so the infra sound used elephant the ability to control its uh, family miles away because and then they communicate at the infra sound level which we cannot hear <coughs> because it is uh, 20 hertz below uh, which is the, the human uh, hearing range and this is just give you a simple science behind uh, when he says hey, you know elephant head god bless